We're doubled up here. Keep that rod good and bent, Michael. That's it. Keep it good and bent. Take line when you can. Jonathan's hooked up here. Michael's hooked up. Michael, just crank nice and slow, buddy. You know what? Just hold it high and crank. How about stop, coconut? Stop. Coconut, are you out of here, coconut? All right, hold it high and crank. Hold it high and crank. Michael, stop, buddy. Yeah, we're doubled up now. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. You're doing fine, John. Keep the rod high and bent, John. Keep the rod high and bent, John, boy. These fish pulled out. There, I'd say they're about 100 yards from the boat, and then what, they take another 100 yards, you think? Oh, yeah. About run us out of line. Can I almost Both of these fish are over 40 pounds, for sure. Can I almost You're getting closer, bud. And you'll see an orange uh, planer board when you get close, okay? And I'll have the net on the front, so you just keep doing what you're doing when he gets close, and I'll chase after him. He's going to pull hard at the boat like that. Very nice. You just, that's it, easy. You're doing fine, Michael. Up. Doing good, buddy. Don't horse him. Just do nice and easy. You're doing perfect, man. Pump and take. He wants to go, you let him go. It's a good thing he's got that low speed on that one, Dwayne. He'd be dying. Well, that accurate. Deal. That accurate two speed, man. You drop it down to low gear. Atta boy, Johnny! Let's see. Atta boy, John. Clown dinner. There's a hundred pounds of fish sitting right there. Oh my goodness, Grandpa's gonna have to tear them up on the walls. What do you think, boys? No, I'm eating that. Oh, they're going to the lake house. Look here. What do you think, John boy? I'm eating it. Thank you, Kevin. We found a school out here of all 50 pound fish and up. And these fish are just leaving the country. Accurate. Okay, you're still in low gear. Dwayne's got him these accurate two speeds, which are nice because you can go nice and low. Can you slow down just a little bit? We are getting down to the nitty gritty on that. If you're someone older or a child, someone who's not terribly strong, you don't have to pump. You don't have to pump and take to recover line. If you have this nice low two speed here, it goes down to three to one. If you look what Michael does, this fish is still running. You can just see he's able to take line without pumping. Even though the rod is fully loaded, full drag, Fish pulling, he's still able to take line by just by just steadily reeling. At a high speed reel, you can never do that. You'd have to pump to take that fish in. This fish is yep. he's a long ways out there. He's a good 150 yards out. We're down to the nitty gritty on our on our spool too. We can't mm -hmm. let this fish take much more. That's it. Hold it just like that and just slowly reel. The two speed reel went it right in. That's right. Lucky number four. That is lucky, lucky number four. We're trying. We're still trying to clean the deck here. We got a 57 pounder, 50 pounder. Jonathan caught the 50. Don't we barely get the line set up and we hooked up. No. Thank you. Let's see, let it rest on your hips. The tight, the it's, it's tight as well. All he can go. He's too, he's too skinny. He's like his old man, he's too thin. <laughs> and at low speed, you should be able to just steadily reel. Isn't that awesome, man? You can just reel just like that. High speed, you wouldn't be able to do that. We are at Ilum, Eastern Shore, Virginia. Ilum uh, side planers, floats. Fishing very shallow behind the board. We're uh, 10 to 20 feet behind our board with live bait. Uh, we're going with the tide at about two and a half miles per hour. And um, up on a flat here, about 25 feet of water, and they're just coming up on this flat feeding in the mornings and the afternoons. So a lot of bait around. As long as the bait hangs in, then the fish will hang in. Don't lose that fish now. Stay on them. My left don't don't pull. Shark. 
Yeah. He's just very smart and very dumb. He's gone under the boat, he's gone under the boat. We got a taxi dummy man! He gonna have a heart attack when he see what I brought him! Hoopa, quit playing with yourself. You're doing good, you're doing good. Captain Wayne gonna grab this fish. Over here so the line won't Pull up. <laughs> Step back, Michael. Step back. That a boy, Michael. Uh, he's just a little 48 pounder. Oh, he's just a little 48. Shake him off. Michael. Good job. Fish taco? Nah. Fish taco. Nah, we'll let this one go. We'll let him go. One big fish taco. Let him swim. I can get my whole hand in there, no problem. See how easy I can? Let's see your fish. Nice. Let's see what you weigh. Let's spin the boga grip around. 47, 40, 47 pounds. It's a little longer fish. I can't get that last corner board out. Are you on Dad? Nope, just hold just like that. Let me get tired out here, Boga. Awesome. You got me tired. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, look at that. You're not when they get on that long line like that, they just hold. Pull the rod a little higher, bud. That's it. Just keep cranking. Keep that rod bent and keep cranking. Right. See if you can pull straight up, John. Straight up. Walk backward if you can. Walk backward. There you go. You got her. All right, now walk backward out of date. Got the lane play. Good fish, John boy. Catch fish fun. Snap it on. I think we made it big for Jonathan. Make it as small as you can get it. It's maybe another hoss, buddy. It is. Got to keep the rod high and just hold. Keep cranking. Dwayne, cut the front motor to the right, please. So we're going to get at it. Going to get back. Oh, look how far it is, Dwayne. It's all the way past. It's, it's 50 foot past your last board. <laughs> what? Where's mine? Keep cranking. 50 foot past the last board. I just let 150 feet of line out, set it in the rod holder, went to set the second rod out, and she screamed off. We got three fish up there, each about 50 plus. We just let another one go. I don't think we've been able to get six rods out. Thank God for accurate two speeds, baby. If you're out here with the Zabu Garcias, <laughs> we'd still be fighting that first one. You just can't do this, Dwayne. You just can't do this with improper gear. You know that? You just can't. If you come out and catch one or two, or if you got six guys, each catch one, you can. But if you got one or two guys cranking one in after another, you just can't do it with the crappy stuff. Now we're using these inline planers. You see the inline planer hanging on the line there. And it just slides down, and the fish is way off, way off behind it. And then all these big fish come to the surface, way back there. So yeah. Nice. 40 pounder. Nice, Michael. 42. Yeah, just a little right, I think. Yeah, keep We just brought a touch of old school to Dwayne's new school boat. The reason that when you look in the video, these rods don't look like they're terribly bent is because the fish are way out away from the boat. These fish are all way out on the surface.
That's it. Last few feet to go. Last few feet. This is, this is a hoss. Okay, we'll make this one your last one, but make it a good one. Wait, crank, 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 crank. That broke my back. Fat one. He is a fat one. He's upper 40s. Mid 40s. Hey, look up here, guys. Y'all worn out? What? Yes, sir. How you doing, Michael? <laughs> Should we put him out, catch some more? Should we catch some more? Yes or no? Are we done or are we still fishing? Well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are worn out. They're letting Captain Delaney winch one in. We ain't had time to clear these off the deck yet. <laughs> Let me know if you need me to clear something. We're out here on Smith Mountain Lake. Smith We're in Gills Creek using two inch shad. He knows he's hooked now. It's funny how the big ones don't know it right away. Going to going to low speed. Kicking in low gear, baby. Can't get nothing on him yet. Ooh. Now to understand, when you have 200 feet of line out, and you got four, five, six, eight pounds of drag, and that much line, that fish has to stretch that line four, five, six feet before he can pull drag off that spool. That's how strong that fish has to be to do that. The fish to pull drag with that much line out with mono. That's a strong fish. Let me know if you need me to move a rod. I'm try to bring him in front of him. If he'll keep going the way he's going, I'll bring him in front of those boards. I got the I hear you mean? Yeah. <laughs> now, Dwayne, you can help me out here. With all my videos I have up, we're getting 2,000 views a day on my channel. And people, the biggest question is, that people ask me is, how are we finding these fish? Do they think it's some kind of special secret or, and they get mad at me that I won't say exactly where these fish are. And they don't believe me when I say we just kind of go out and put them down and move around until we find them. I mean, is there anything more than that? No, it's not more than that. Just covering water and, and you know, uh, every day is a different day as, as far as fish will move. Uh, sometimes you'll catch fish two days in a row in the same spot. You go back to that spot and if they're not there, then you make a drift in 40 feet of water or 60 feet of water. You just change your drift around. The important part is just covering the water, and that's what the side planers and the floats do. Sometimes you're covering 100 yards of water when you put out the side planers, and you uh, you just cover the water. Put your spread out. The bigger the spread, the more fish you'll catch. That's right. I wish there was some kind of secret where I can say run out to this buoy or go out to that buoy. Or... It's just there's not that much detail to it. These fish are big, they're rogue. You're not, rarely do we hook up three, four at a time. We're so spread out and these are big rogue fish. We're not catching small fish, we're catching big loners. And you gotta have a spread out there. That's why coming out and just drifting with four or five boards or four or five floats versus 12 lines with a, with a trolling motor, the trolling motor's gonna outdo it. Oh, Michael, Michael. Come on, Michael. Come here, Michael. Got it. Take it out of my hand. No, don't lift the pot out. Wayne, that's a fish, son. That one's over 50. You got something there. Oh, my goodness. You don't you pull yours into Dwayne's. Dwayne has got one here, maybe 60. 
Wayne may have the one here, son. She's ours, brother. Wayne, congratulations, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Holy God. Yep. Wayne, you done did it, son! Yes! Is it 60? I don't know. Oh, nah, it's over 50. It's over 50. It's the same size as Michael's. Why are we Good God. Michael. Michael. 55. Woo! Captain Dwayne. Hard. <laughs> I am too. Wait, Dwayne, how many fish did you crank in today? One. One. <laughs> the right. Oh, holy schmagoli. Let's see if we can stable it. Well, Dwayne, it is dead on 56, maybe a hair over 56. 57, 57 pounds. <sighs> Look at you. That's good. Can't hold it. Can't hold it. We'll get some pictures here. <laughs> 